Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a 40-year-old female who complains of headaches, left-sided facial pain, and neck pain, and her brain thankfully was normal, but she does have an abnormality within her sinuses. So this is the right maxillary sinus, this is the left maxillary sinus. Air, as you can see outside the body here, is dark. It should be dark, like right here in the right maxillary sinus. This is the nose to get oriented. This is the cerebellum and back. This is the ear on the left, ear on the right side. So now that you're oriented, you can see here that the right maxillary sinus looks good here. If we go to the top, it looks good. If we go to the bottom, there's a little round area here that's very bright. This is just a retention cyst, a benign little cyst. Very, very common. It looks rounded, and it's not worrisome at all. But on the left side, we see a similar brightness, but this looks like it has a horizontal area. This is like a cup. This is forward. The patient's laying on their back, so their nose is pointing forward. So this is like a cup holding fluid. This is an air fluid level with the air being black, fluid being white. And when we see fluid levels like this in a sinus, we think about sinusitis and maybe infection. And so this is something that's very important to know, and this is what is causing her left-sided facial pain and maybe contributing to her neck pain and her left-sided headaches. Now, this is the maxillary sinus here. There are other sinuses. One back here is the sphenoid sinus. If I can come up to it here, the sphenoid sinus. And it looks pretty good. There's just a little area in the sphenoid sinus on the left. This is called the ethmoid sinus here. It's between the eyes. Here's the right ethmoid sinus looking good with the darkness the darkness is again air, and there are little struts of bone in there, and the air, the bone and air are both dark. So it looks black here. On the left side, things are very bright. That's that mucosal thickening in the ethmoid sinus. If we go up, 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 above the eyes, we get into the left frontal sinus. And the frontal sinus has uh, mucosal thickening as well. And the frontal sinus is worrisome because when they have infection in the frontal sinus, it can go through into the brain here. You can see how close the frontal lobe is to that sinus. They're very, very close, so the infection can spread directly into the brain. So when they have frontal sinusitis, it's something that is worrisome, and they need to be uh, seen by an ENT and treated to make sure that infection goes away. We can see these same things on a couple other views. This is a side view in profile. This is the nose over on the left. Here's the pituitary gland. Here's the top of the head to get oriented. If we come over here to the forehead, we can see... Right down here, this is the right frontal sinus filled with darkness, and this is the left frontal sinus. And the left frontal sinus has mucosal thickening around the rim, a little air in the middle, and this whole thing, this brightness is inflammation that goes through into the ethmoid sinus. And there's a communication between the frontal and ethmoid sinuses. We call that the frontal ethmoidal recess, and that is occluded by the mucosal thickening, so air cannot pass through there, and that can cause differences in pressure, pressure gradients that can cause the sinus headaches. And this shows up best on these coronal images. So on this view, we can see one eye here, other eye here. This is a nose in the middle, and we can see the left frontal sinus here. You can see that brightness, that's the mucosal thickening or inflammation. You can see on the right-hand side it looks nice, left-hand side the mucosal thickening. And that communication between the frontal sinus and ethmoid sinus is right here, that frontal ethmoidal recess. You can see the mucosal thickening completely fills that, occludes that, and so that's why they may have uh, pressure headaches. And you see this ethmoid sinus opacified. Then we get down to this maxillary sinus, and there's a communication between the maxillary sinus and ethmoid sinus. That's called the osteomedial unit, and this is occluded by mucosal thickening. So again, the communications, the passages are clogged by mucosal thickening, and that will contribute to the headaches. On the right side, you can see a little dark band here. This is the communication. The right-sided osteomedial complex looks open. So there's communication between here and here through a very thin little uh, area here that's filled with air, and this one is occluded. So an example of a normal brain, thankfully, but left sinus inflammation, sinusitis with that fluid level, and the frontal sinus is involved, which is worrisome, so we're going to get them to an ENT as soon as possible for treatment, and thank you very much.